Peachtree Road Race is just over two weeks away. Now I've been training pretty good over the last couple months hoping to run as fast as possible on the streets of Atlanta on July 4th. But how fast will I be able to run that race? Well today I'm going to hopefully find out a little bit more about how fast I can really run. So I'm at my uh, favorite junior high track where I'm going to do a couple of time trials to test my fitness and see where I'm really at. So uh, that will help me set my effort for the Peachtree Road Race here on July 4th. So let's talk a little bit more about uh, these time trials, what I hope to learn from them, and will it help me or not? Just starting my my warm-up for uh, today's time trial. Uh, do a nice uh, easy warm-up for about 10 minutes, uh, about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to do two time trials. I'm going to do a three-minute effort and a 10-minute effort, and be about 30 minutes or so separated between those two uh, to make sure I get uh, rested and recovered between the two efforts. I'm going to be using this little guy here. It's a stride foot pod, and what's unique about it is it measures power. So watts, I attach it to my shoe and it measures the, uh, the power I generate as I am running. Now I've been using this stride foot pod for uh, a little over two years, almost two and a half years at this point, and I found it very, very, very helpful because essentially when you train with power and you get good, good data, good power data from your runs, uh, you are much better able to pace yourself up and down the hills and all along the course because you set your effort to power. And ultimately, power coordinates pretty close with heart rate and uh, actual ability. So um, I'm going to finish the uh, uh, warm up here and then we'll do a three minute effort and then rest and a 10 minute effort. And then when I get done with the run, I'll give you a quick analysis to show you what my results were and uh, see uh, what the strategy is for uh, July 4th in a couple of weeks. Just cooling off and resting between the uh, intervals here. I did the uh, three minute three minute time trial. Um, I did 319 watts for three minutes. So um, better than I, about where I thought last, uh, Last time I really did this was back in November of uh, 2021, and I did 330 watts, but I was in really good shape then. That was right before I ran the uh, Atlanta Half Marathon. So, uh, 319 watts for three minutes. Uh, got about 15, 20 minutes here before the 10-minute effort, and hoping to do somewhere around 300 watts for 10-minute effort. Uh, back in November of 21, I think I, I think I did 312 or 315. So. Uh, I, I don't expect to do that, but I do expect to do somewhere between like 280 and 300, which would uh, prove that I'm in pretty decent shape. Uh, I won't run as fast in this year's peach tree as I did a couple years ago, but uh, I think that would be that'd prove that I'm in pretty decent shape. So we shall see. I got about uh, 15 minutes or so here left to go, and then we'll do the 10-minute effort and uh, and then talk about it once I get back and take a look at it on the computer. Okay. Okay, 10 minute effort is done. I think I saw 291 average watts uh, before I hit the lap button. So, uh, a smidge better than what I thought. I was thinking somewhere between 290 and 3, so just barely beat 290. Um, but uh, let's uh, go back and take a look at it on the, uh, on the computer and see what the uh, stride uh, foot pod system uh, determines and what it's thinks I should be able to do for the uh, peach tree coming up here in a couple of weeks. Okay, it is the next day and we are at the computer. Uh, give you uh, an overview of uh, the results from those uh, time trials from yesterday. Uh, a little bit more about the stride ecosystem and running with power and then talk about how I am going to use this information to help me run as fast as possible on uh, July 4th which is just two weeks from today in the uh, Peachtree Road Race. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about stride and go into the go into a little bit more uh, into the weeds on running with power. Okay so here you see on the screen is kind of the 
uh, the main uh, software interface for uh, for Stride. So what it does is it aggregates all your run data uh, for as long as every run that you do with the Stride FootPod. It measures uh, you know, distance and pace and power and ties it all together uh, and allows you to analyze that over time. So you will see here uh, this little bar chart, for example, shows the last year's worth of training. And you can see here in 2023, I didn't do a whole lot um, really until early to mid-April as I was coming back from that um, meniscus uh, aggravation, uh, kind of re-aggravated a, a tear that I've had for years. It's all better now, but I've really only been training consistently for two to two and a half to three months. But uh, Stride takes all the information from every run that I do with the Stride foot pod, aggregates it together to generate what's called a power duration curve. And it's got a few different sections in here. The red section is think of that as short distance anaerobic sprint efforts the darker blue is kind of that one minute to five minutes so think of like maybe half uh, quarter mile half mile one mile type intervals and then this light blue kind of covers everything from five minutes to an hour so uh, the summation of the various maximum efforts that you've been able to do in various time um, chunks over that one hour period stride takes that and aggregates it together to generate what is called a critical power number and that is a number uh, that theoretically you should be able to maintain for an hour or so of a hard effort and if you look back here on the screen under my smiling face there on the left you see critical power 270 watts now this coordinates a lot with uh, cycling. If, if any of you have done any road cycling or track cycling or even mountain biking, for about the last 10 years or so, they've done a lot of power analysis on uh, riding and it generates a number that's called functional threshold power, which is basically the same thing. How much power can you uh, put down uh, for 45 minutes to an hour? So Stride does the same thing just in a running environment and uh, based off of the efforts that I've done over time. So it comes up with a critical power of 270. And from that critical power, it generates these power zones. So think of these as your training zones. Everything from zone one, easy, uh, zone two, up to zone five, basically high intensity interval range. So I can use that information to help me plan my training and then also uh, do as good as possible on race day, which is what I'm hoping to do in a couple of weeks. Well, let's take a look at yesterday's results. So here is the entire uh, two time trial test, but let's go and take a look at the three minute first. So here we go. This is the three minute effort. You can see that I averaged 320 watts in yellow. Uh, blue is pace where I averaged 619 and red is heart rate, when my average heart rate was 154. So you can see over the three minutes, I generated an average power of 320 watts. Now this is lower than I uh, did back in November of 21, which was the last time that I did a full critical power time trial test, and I did substantially higher. So I'll show you that in a little bit. And it ties in very, very closely to the amount of fitness that, uh, that I have or don't have at this point. So that's the three minute. Uh, one. Let's take a look at the 10 minute interval. My goal there was to do somewhere around 290 to 300 watts. I just beat it at 292 watts. Average pace of seven minutes and average heart rate of 154. So this tells me that I'm pretty fit, not as fit as I was in 2021 for sure. So let's take a look at the 2021 test for comparison. So this was back in November of 2021, a couple weeks before the Atlanta half marathon that I ran. And let's take a look at the three, uh, where was it? Uh, the three minute effort, there it is. Okay, so for the same three minute effort, I did it on a track, different track, but still a flat, uh, still a flat track. You will see that I averaged 340 watts. Now you might be saying, yeah, 20 watts, that's not that much. 320 to 340. Let me tell you, that extra 20 watts, that takes a lot of fitness to be able to, to hold that for that 
period of time. So I, I did 340 watts. That equated to an average pace of 553 and an average heart rate of 159. So this basically shows I was just in better overall fitness, aerobic fitness in November of 2021. Now for the 10 minute time trial back then, I averaged 200, no, 308 watts, whereas yesterday I averaged 292. And once again, that 16 watts uh, doesn't seem like a lot numbers wise, 5% uh, difference. But that 5% takes a lot of fitness to be able to hold that, especially for a 10 minute effort. So um, subjectively or objectively, I am not as fit as I was in November of 2021, but I'm still pretty fit. So we've got this information. What do I do with it? Well, Stride has this nifty tool called a power calculator. And what it does is you can input in the uh, metrics of whatever race that you want to analyze. So I'm, I've dumped in here, as you can see on the screen, this is the Peachtree Road Race. So I've downloaded the GPS data uh, for the Peachtree Road Race. So you've got uh, elevation profile in gray. And then along the line is the um, suggested power output. Now, based off of my critical power of 270, the default from stride is that hey you should be able to do 98 percent of your critical power for this length of a of a effort so that comes out to 265 watts now based on their prediction that would equate to a time of 5211. now i know from my own personal experience that i typically do better on race day than i do on training day i'm usually able to run a little faster in a race situation as i think many of us probably are so my guess is that i probably can be a little higher on the power uh, than just 265 so if i go back in here and i change it to 270 watts which is my current critical power and calculate comes back and says I should be able to do a time of 5106. So a little better. My goal for this race in two weeks is to try to be under 50 minutes. I think I can do it by being a little bit uh, more strategic in uh, how I execute the race. In other words, running a little harder downhill, that type of thing. I think I can get under 50. In July of 2021, when I was pretty fit, uh, my critical power then was 289 watts or something like that. I ran a 4436. So I'm not, I'm not going to get anywhere near that uh, here this year, but I do think I can get under 50 minutes. So that's going to be my goal. And I'm going to use the Stride um, uh, software and ecosystem and training with power to help me uh, train uh, not only now, but into the future to kind of maximize my training, get the most from the available time that I have to train, and hopefully get the best result uh, in a competitive situation. I think I can do under 50. Uh, stay tuned for the race video. <laughs> I'm going to do uh, a video on race day uh, as well as an analysis. I'll post that in a couple of weeks. And that's about it. If you're interested in uh, training with power, check out Stride. It's worthwhile to take a look at. If you like data and you like to analyze things, training with power might be a really good fit for you. I know I enjoy it as someone who loves numbers and analysis. It fits right in with the way I think. So I've really enjoyed using it the last couple of years. Um, leave a comment down below. Do you have any races coming up? Are you training for anything currently? And how are you training? Are you training by heart rate, pace, or are you training by something like power? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what everybody is doing as far as, uh, as your own training. And if you like what you see here and you want to sp spread the word to other people, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up. That's a great way to uh, share what we're doing here on the channel with the broader YouTube world out there. Hope everybody's doing well. I'll look for that race video in a couple of weeks. And until then, be well. Take care.